the bunker is probably the last one we're going to look at in this batch. We may do some more later. We may not. It depends how cheap they go. But it's taken us back to Wales Interactive. And this time we're following the story of some weirdo in a bunker. Yeah. Although this one adds a twist to the formula. He's from The Hobbit. He is from The Hobbit. He is. Yeah, he's <laughs> Ori from The Hobbit. What a twist. <laughs> That's not the twist, but it is a nice surprise. Yeah. No, the twist of the formula is that this one kind of includes some point and click adventure game elements. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That said, as a cool, unique, oh, it's different. It adds fuck all. And it's a little annoying. Massively annoying. It's very annoying. <laughs> it's the worst. Yeah, it ruins a lot of sections. Because you've got that point and click thing as well, there are so many moments where it seems like the game's loading into giving you the option to move around. So there's so many sections where people just stare at each other awkwardly, <laughs> waiting. You can just have someone stare at a wall forever. Yeah. And it'll just loop for all eternity until you go and he goes, oh, right, yeah, okay, off we go. <laughs> Well, he is going insane, so that makes sense. But maybe. Maybe that's why it's really obvious when it loops, and that's just his mind yeah, breaking. Because it exactly. felt like my mind was breaking. <laughs> Especially when you have to go back and forth between rooms to find shit and watch Ugh. a bloody... It's not even a cutscene because it's a it's like a film, but just watch a, a section of him walking in the room, looking around, standing to the middle of room, looking at a thing, waiting for the game to load in. Okay, we can move. Mm. Oh, it's not here. Let's leave again. He walks out the room. He looks around. He walks into the middle. He stands around again. You wait for the game to load in and let you start moving again. Okay, great. That was that was 30 seconds of my life just uh, yeah. to check a room. More than 30 seconds. It feels like five fucking hours sometimes. I think it's closer to five minutes. <laughs> it's a, there's a lot of faff in this. It's... It's not necessarily a bad game, and I wouldn't say it's the worst one. I would. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe you're right. Maybe it is worse. I think all the things we've praised the other ones for... Are missing here. Everything else has completely fallen down. Yeah. This may be one of the earlier ones, I think. So there may be something uh-huh. to say about them getting better, but if that is the case, and it, it's not worth looking back at their old work, because mm. they've only gotten better. I mean, the location's really cool. The actor... I think he's all right. It's just he's not really been given a huge amount to do. 90% of his job was stare at a thing, but hold an emotion forever while yeah. they choose what they're going to do. And there's some kind of internal monologue. But to be fair, that internal monologue is very monotone. The writing's bad. The writing is quite bad. We say for the other ones, sometimes it feels like they found a location or they had a gimmick and they went with it. This one is that, but they didn't go with it. They just went, well, if he's in a bunker, we'll just do bunker survival things. And you spend most of the game repairing damaged things and looking for fuses until all of a sudden, at one point, the character makes such a stupid decision. It's not a decision you have because there's actually no decisions in this game. Oh, yeah, because that's... Until the very end. It kind of, the whole time, it pretends you have choices and decisions to make. But they'll be like, you can go upstairs, or you can go downstairs, or you can go through this door, or you can go through the other door. But you'll go to one door, and be like, no, you need to go to the other room to get this thing to do this thing in this room. It's Why like, give us the option? Exactly. Just, just tell me to go to this. If you're going to make me go back and watch this two-minute cutscene of me walking through a corridor, just tell me which door to go through. It feels <laughs> like give it's, me the option. It feels like it's there to pad out runtime. Yeah, absolutely. It's not the longest, but it fucking went on for a while. Yeah, it felt the longest. It didn't feel fun to play, but I think that was the problem. It just felt tedious. It's it. That's it. That's the main issue with this game. Yeah. And it's not because stuff that's there is boring. Sometimes it's interesting and good things are going on. Yeah. It's just getting to those good things is dealing with the point and click cursor where you have to oh. be so close to know when it is. And for instance, we were looking for a fuse and we mm. looked everywhere and everywhere. And I googled it because I was sick of spending all this time looking in the same drawers, going back and forth between doors all the time. I need to be told by the guy, oh, I can't go there. Yeah. <laughs> and it was in a small brown box yeah. just right next to the fuse. But you have to be so close to it. Because you can see the box. When you go into the room, you can see the box. So I was hovering over it and I was like, oh, well, we can't click it. But you have to specifically go into it a bit closer to then go into the box. And it's just like, why not just... Don't tell me I need to find a fuse if the fuse is there. <laughs> but it just the, the whole game was really faffy. And it was like when we were in a kind of a controlly room. And the areas that you click, you have to be so close to the actual button to click to be able to see the button that there was a time where there was no clear thing that we had to do. So I was just hovering around the screen to we're try and find guessing. it. Yeah. And it took a while. 
because that's one thing that's yeah. boring and slow and just annoying but mm. it's all those feelings are tripled when there's a quick time event oh my god and you can change the sensitivity but the default sensitivity the one the game is like well this is where we'll put it because this is what we recommend you play mm. is so slow yeah and you you missed one quick time event and you didn't miss it you I saw all it of them <laughs> well yeah well you, saw, one. you saw it mm. and you went for it too slow but not because you were slow. No. And it's also, it appears at a random bit of the screen that doesn't make sense with the action. Yeah. And your cursor could be anywhere at the time. <laughs> you could start right inside it, or you could be at the other end of the screen. There's no warning or way of understanding that you're going to have to do something. Yeah. Because also, like, the cursor starts at the centre of the screen. But what insane person would keep the, the cursor, the big circle, right in the centre of the screen? It would drive me crazy. Not a good design decision there are a lot of things in this game that are quite flawed i want to stop talking about the gameplay because interestingly yeah. these games don't have gameplay no. this is the one with the most gameplay and it's the worst the most annoying <laughs> so they're about the story and the atmosphere and this one's obviously going for kind of somber but also a little tense and creepy hmm. uh, but it's too boring to be creepy yeah i liked what he was trying to do but i didn't like what it did I feel like it had the opportunity to be really good and interesting and just a bit different. But it was just kind of boring. It spends so long building up its its mystery of why are we in the bunker? What's the bunker about? I don't care. Yeah. You've not given me anything to care about. I don't care about the main character. No. I don't care about the titular bunker. Yeah. And no matter how much it wants me to, I do not give a fuck about the relationship between the main character and his mother. The game seems to think that it's more tense than it is. Hmm. Because there'll just be some, like, you'll just be doing something really normal and really mundane, like climbing a ladder. And that should be easy. That shouldn't be a problem. But no, you climb a ladder and it makes you break your arm. Didn't even miss a quick time event. Didn't even miss a quick time event. You just, it's like, oh, you're climbing up. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. Oh, you climb up a bit more. It's a bit wobbly. It's a very short ladder. That's the crux of the game as well. (laughs) It is. The the entire second and third act relies on that moment of you falling off a ladder for no fucking reason. It's so dumb. Like, it could have been so easily avoided if he hadn't done all this. If he hadn't caused all these issues, everything would have been fine. He just had to replace the thing and not fall off a ladder. <laughs> and we would have all been happy. And we couldn't even do that right. We couldn't even do that right. <laughs> and that's the majority of the game. It's 90% opening doors, mm. 10% going up and down a corridor with a little, little treat of falling off a ladder for no reason. It's only ever mildly interesting when it flashbacks to when there were people in the bunker and the Mm. characters have people to work off and the writers can write dialogue between people. It's never fantastic. No. It's still okay. Yeah. But it's something. It's, well, how did all these people die? And and there is a twist and there are things like that and the twist is interesting. The twist is relatively good. In a better game or a better film, it would make the previous stuff better. But because the early game, I said the early game, 70% of the game is nothing. It's it's just empty boringness. The twist reveal does not impact or make me feel any different about the characters Mm. or the world or anything. And I think this is the only one I'm going to spoil because it, it... it's the worst ending of all of them. Click away. If you really care, click away. If you really away. care about the bunker. If you really can't already guess <laughs> the ending of the game called The Bunker, where you're in a bunker and the world outside is mysterious and you're in a bunker, then then click away. <laughs> because essentially, at the end, it goes, leave the bunker or don't leave the bunker. The yeah. one decision. The only decision you actually get. And, and it, it means, means nothing. nothing. <laughs> Because if you leave the bunker, he steps outside and he goes, ah, Mm. and it ends. And I didn't play the other way because I don't care to, but I'm pretty sure if you stay in the bunker, he probably turns around and walks down into the bunker and goes, huh. Well, no, you go back into the bunker and die. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what he should have done. Maybe. Maybe he should have just gone and died. It's such a stupid decision because it's either die or live. That's literally your two options. It makes it seem so dramatic. Like it's a (sighs) difficult choice. But it's not. Because like... Also, because this character has taken so much effort at this point with his broken arm to try and get out of this bunker, at the last door, you're really going to be like, nah, I'll stay. Actually, you know what? You know what? I actually quite like it here. I'm going to die. I enjoyed wasting my time. (laughs) Doesn't matter that my arm's in agony. (laughs) I didn't enjoy wasting my time. No. This was one that I... I don't regret playing any of them. This was the most expensive. Oh, really? This one I bought £15. Because it looked the most interesting. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But it just feels... It, the the production design is, is fairly okay. Yeah. But it feels like the location does most of the work. 
the cinematography and the lighting is bland. Yeah. It's mid shots. Or red. Throw up a red light. Yeah. Yeah. The entire game kind of plays out. Do you know the the skit from Bo Burnham's Inside where he's playing the video game? It's like, (laughs) I'm going to stand up. I'll try the door. Oh, it doesn't work. Guess I'll cry. (laughs) Like, that's... It's... that's exactly what I felt This like. is the kind of game that that's taken the piss out of. Oh, absolutely. In a word, the entire game can be summed up by saying padding. Yeah. It's a 30-minute experience pushed to two hours. Of all the ones we've played, the last one is the worst. Don't play it, please. Thanks for joining us on our wild and wacky ride through the weird world of FMV games. Uh, We might play some more. I've got Telling Lies downloaded, but I've heard it's quite long and we don't have a lot of time right now to play FMV games. (laughs) So maybe we'll do it down the line, depending on how these do. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did want to leave a like and a subscribe for it, uh, that would be very deeply appreciated. And feel free to tell us your favourite FMV game, Mm. uh, whether it's one we've talked about and if you agree or disagree with us, or if it's one we haven't played and one we should definitely play. And if anyone's played Simulacra, Two. Let us know if that's any good. If you won it in the giveaway. Yes, let us know if that's let us any, know good. If any good. <laughs> and if it is, we might play it. Yeah. Uh but until then, thanks for watching guys. Stay safe and thank you. Bye.